Drake, Drake, what's up? I honestly was just fucking with him, to be completely honest. Like, I really didn't give a fuck that he tied the do rag like that, if y'all really want me to be honest. <laughs> Who am I? I am Beyonce, but my real name is Ski Mask, but my real name is Stokely, and that's the album name. But I've always wanted to make that 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 changed into from a rapper into an artist. Yeah, Stokely is definitely my most diverse. Like that's exactly what I try to do. I try to yell, sing, and rap in the best mix that I could. But I know like my next work after this, I'm gonna be able to be more of an artist that I want to be. You know what I mean? Like So High is an example of something I was trying to do for a while, basically because I just didn't know when's the right time or when to approach fans with something that they're not used to, you know what I mean? I guess a big part of what I can say gave me the confidence is, which is sad to say, is X passing. It just told me that I had to step up a lot, even just in music in general, because I knew I could do it always, but I just always like sold myself short. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think that I could come out with some good like singing shit because I thought it was cliche. I wanted to make X proud because I know he's always watching, but I also wanted to make myself proud as an artist, just to show myself that because I guess one thing that always fucked with me is um being called a rapper, like being categorized. And I know I don't want to ever be categorized. I want to be able to hit every genre. Quarter pounder, a founder. She want a boy that can never flounder. She said that. I love Lala. Lala was me venturing off, basically. That was the first type of song I've made like that, Lala. It's just scream, mainly screaming, but I switch it into like regular rap. It's my favorite song, that shit's so, like, it's just, I like, I'm really, a, if you know me, then you know I'm one person that came from, like, distorted beats, like, harsh rap, rapping, yeah, that's my favorite shit. Book of Eli was ass to me, to be completely honest. Um, it was rushed, um, I was high a lot of times, not like I wasn't high for this album, but, uh, I just wasn't reasonably, or, organ like, I didn't organize anything, I just was, just, like, I don't know, I guess I was lost in myself, like, for myself. I found myself for Stokely, basically, I could say. Since I've been making Stokely, the album, what's been going through my head really is emotions, themes. Um, I feel like music should be theme setting. It should put you somewhere, make you go a different place than you are already. Music should set a theme, or you should just put your emotions in it. Because whenever I put my emotions in a song, like I'm angry, so I'm gonna just make an angry song, it ends up being fire. Like, like my most, like, built, like, you know what I mean? Viral song. And then if I do a sad song and I'm actually sad in it, it's gonna do better than the song I'm really not sad in, but I'm making a sad song, if you know what I mean. Yo, cut though, cut though, cut though. Baby, oh my nuts though, nuts though, nuts though. How did I go about making Nuketown with Juice World? I was on tour. I wasn't even with Juice World. I was on tour on a tour bus because we had the studio on a tour bus. That like last year, the revenge tour, I made Catch Me Outside on a tour bus. So this tour bus I made cutthroat on it. I was angry about tour just being horrible. Like if you ever be on tour, it's just so much energy, work, responsibility, people in your face all the time. Like, <laughs> like let me get a picture every time, all the time. Like it was just good to get off tour. I was just angry that day with, a, with like, I guess you could say my friends or just people in general. Why I felt Juice World approached the song that way that he did is because I felt like just as I am trying to approach different sounds, you shouldn't let anybody else stop you from venturing off or trying to see if you could do something because that's just them holding you back, you know what I mean? So that's what he wanted to do. He wanted to venture off and try something different. I got a, I got a um, baby picture with me in a do-rag like this, I swear. When I started tying it to the front, I guess I was just, it really just didn't look good on me tied to the back. I was just like, this needs to be something done. I need to hide this forehead. I don't know how it came about. It just came to the front and I was just like, shoelace, <laughs> that ass. That's it. And then you just eventually see everybody and their grandma start wearing do-rags like that. Nobody was wearing it to the tie to the front like that. One thing I do want to say is Drake, as an artist, anybody has to respect because he's in the game and he's been in the game. He's He has longevity, even if he doesn't write or writes his music. What I was saying is Drake, I honestly was just fucking with him, to be completely honest. Like, I really didn't give a fuck that he tied the do-rag like that, if y'all really want me to be honest. <laughs> and like, a lot of shit goes that way. Um. 
at the end of the day though, I do feel like a lot of the uh, I feel like he could he could give a lot of uh, credit to where it's due in a lot of places because he he's easily adaptable to um different genres like Spanish like but he like always I don't want to say gets influenced for somebody but he's never mind let me stop this conversation I'm done there let me stop there drink what's up